When it comes to making fire, never, ever, ever discount combining different methods, combining two different methods into one in order to be successful. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because we had a class this past weekend, basic bushcraft, it was a great class, but it rained tremendously and the humidity was super high. So when we got to the point in the class where we were going to make stick bundle fires with a match, the small sticks just everywhere was so wet, it was just so drenched with rain that we would have taken six, eight, 10 matches to dry this material out before it got ignited. So we had to use an alternative method. Now we still wanted to get this burning because this is an integral part of our fire lay itself. Whenever we do a stick bundle, that's part of the small material we're gathering. But how are we gonna get this lit if the match and the open flame source just isn't lit long enough? So typically wherever we gather our stick bundle from, which is normally going to be some type of pine or hemlock, there's also big dead branches. So those big dead branches can work in our favor. So we can very easily make shavings from that larger branch. Now you might look at those and think that they're quite big, but the reality is that we're gonna start these with an open flame source. So they don't need to be very, very small like if we were using something as a ferrocerium rod. I also want you to think about the burn time on something like a match. Let's just say for our purposes, 10 seconds on the match. Something like this then of course is gonna burn a lot longer than 10 seconds. Maybe in the ballpark of somewhere around 30 seconds. And then that 30 second flame is easily going to be able to ignite our stick bundle, which is gonna give us an even longer burn time. For an example, let's say it's one minute. So if we go from a 10 second fire to a 30 second fire to a minute fire, and then our fire lay starts to get built around it, we have success. Now once that's ignited, we don't wanna to wait too long. We wanna as quickly as we can start to get our stick bundle over this okay now in our sense this stick bundle is dry but this past weekend because the stick bundle itself was really really wet this is going to take a lot of time to actually start to heat up dry out and then actually catch on fire And then like that, we have a stick bundle that is burning, okay? So what we accomplished doing that was extending our burn time from something that was very quick to something that's gonna be much longer before we even got to our fire lay. And I think that's somewhat important for people to understand because so many times we watch these skills and I am just as guilty as probably many of you are we get sucked into needing to make that work. So you think of a stick bundle, you'll go through 10, 20 matches until you can dry that thing out or you just decide, hey, this isn't gonna work today. But really, in a true situation, when you're out there, if something's not working or you know right away, like I did when I felt how damp those branches were, we need to shift gears. Now, it's always a good idea to have multiple type fire starting devices or fire starters with you. But we took the approach that we have just matches. So what are we gonna do? So utilizing different aspects that we learned over the years is what proved to be successful. So think about this in all different terms as far as shelter building, fire starting, hunting, gathering, trapping, this is gonna work in all of those occasions. It's building and using all those tools from that toolbox that we developed to be able to finally find success. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something I wanted to do because again, it related so much and it happened in a class. So it was like a live, this is where we're at. How are we gonna troubleshoot this thing? And that's really what builds over the years and makes us great outdoorsmen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.